Hello, hello, my name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, we completed episode one, Chrysalis. We discovered that the hurricane in Max's vision is only four days away. Apparently it will arrive on this Friday. Can Max stop the hurricane? Can she find out what happened to Rachel Amber with Chloe? Well, let's see what we can do in episode two, Out of Time. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called Phil Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth, that's an order. I didn't black out, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I do like that warning. No, oh, hello. Excuse me. Bugger off. I'm sleeping. Ooh. Very upbeat for the morning. Something gold. Oh, something gold. I see Max oh, is trying to do some research. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Uh, we will get you that shower, but first, of course, I'm gonna look at everything all over again. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Oh, hello. Uh So much texting. Okay, let's see. From the start. Flipping out, they have been texting like crazy. You there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured it out? I can't go back that far, smart ass. And I need your help. Like when you told Stepdork it was your weed. But for reals, we need to talk. Or eat an ass-buster breakfast at two whales. No. Why, game? <laughs> what is it with this game making me hungry? And we're getting started so early. Literally, we're like a minute in. God damn it, Chloe. Okay. Or eat an ass-buster breakfast at two whales. My treat. Sold. It's good to have minions. 
Gotta bail, master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. Smelly face, smelly face, smelly face, smelly face. No emoji. Meh. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I'll know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. On my way, smiley face. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Okay. And we have a new message from mom. Oh, hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either, mommy. Okay, yeah, we, we watered the plant yesterday. Okay, yeah, then we if we get the chance, we won't water it today. That sounds good. Um, you know what, let's, let's get started on this early. So Chloe and I ended up at the lighthouse watching the sunset. Chloe was mellow and told me more about David and his uber paranoia at school and home. It all made sense. But I wanted to know why Chloe was in that bathroom with Nathan Prescott. She told me he deals drugs and she wanted to blackmail him to pay off some big loan. It's so strange where our lives have gone since the last time we hung out when we were 13. Then I had another nightmare. Or duskmare. I was right back at the lighthouse in a storm, except this time I was following a ghostly deer until I got to the edge of the cliff. I could see the tornado destroying everything in its path, and again I could feel the cold sting of the rain. The lighthouse was crumbling and I felt so helpless watching the tornado move towards the town. Then Chloe snapped me out of the dream and I told her what I saw. And, this, and as if to make the day end on another unusual note, snow started falling from the sky in the warm sunset. It felt so weird, ominous and beautiful all at once. Especially standing there with my best friend. And on that positive thought, I have officially earned a great night's sleep. And yeah, there we are at the beginning. Okay. Uh, anything new? That reminds me. I want to see what the photos are for today. Okay. Okay, I can, I can remember this. I can remember this. I've got it. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Now, what I was going to say, the, oh, oh, well, that's handy. The reason why I really like the, um, the intro screen we get that tells us to be wary of our actions, it's oxymoronic. The fact that we have time powers means our actions don't mean anything. What makes your action so important is that you get one go around. You get one go around the sun and then that is it. There are no do-overs, no uh, curtain calls, none of that. You get one shot and that is everything. By giving us the ability to rewind time, all of our actions are meaningless. So I, re I really like that personally. Oh, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Yeah, you could you could use a bit of water on your face, love. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. I'm guessing Mrs. Hoida is teaching English. Okay, on Mondays we have World History, Algebra, Lunch, Math Lab, and Language of Photography. On Tuesday, we don't have English, Language of Photography, Lunch, Science Lab, Media Literacy. Wednesday is World History, Algebra, Lunch, Photography Lab, Life Drawing. Thursday, we should have English, The Art of Science, Lunch, Media Lab, Language of Photography. And Friday, again, no English, physical education, lunch, music lab, and cultural anthropology. Ooh, very interesting. Okay. And uh, yeah, let's, well, let, let's look at them first. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So summer camp. Uh, no, no, I think that is smart. I'm not gonna leave my shit in a place where everyone can get to it. No, thank you. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Or we could continue looking around your room. 
Uh-oh. I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute watch. I don't really wear watches. I find myself looking at them way too often. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Ah, uh, you wish, Max. Uh, no, the, the poster. The poster. I want to look at the... There we go. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Again, probably not. Uh, we'll, we'll skip the guitar playing for now. DVDs. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. Ugh. Max, you... <laughs> You might not want to think so hard about this. I know that sounds weird, like, oh, it just developed time travel powers, whatever. Like, I'm not saying that, but if, if you try and look too much into it, it'll just make you paranoid. It'll make you doubt everything. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. And nothing over here. The plant. Yeah, we're not going to overwater it. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Good stuff. Mm, nothing interesting going on outside, it seems. Aha. This picture will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. Go for it. No smiling. Take your power seriously. New messages on the laptop. <sighs> I could get lost doing time travel research. Me and the search engine have become one. If only I could be this focused on homework. Hmm. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Okay. Oh, I, I like that his picture is the bloody TARDIS. I like that. Hey Max, the doctor is in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links and without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation for your newfound chrono interest. The Time Machine, the 1960 version. Fun early steampunk sci-fi and Morlock's faces melt. Primer. Lo-fi time travelers in Dallas. Brilliant. I'll explain it to you after you watch it. Uh, excuse me, sir. Max can figure it out on her own. She doesn't need anyone to explain it to her. Time after time, H.G. Wells uses his time machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern day San Francisco. Super cool and clever. Pulp fiction. Serious. The switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativity. Plus, Uma, yeah, that's fair. Somewhere in time, big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matheson. The best kind of chick flick, you'll cry like a baby, I did. Time slip. You can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can watch it together. Sonny Chiba and his soldiers end up back in Samurai Days. Basically tanks versus ninjas. Time cop. Jean-Claude Van Damme does the splits on a kitchen counter in his underwear. Need I say more? That's all the time I have now, as I do have actual quantum physics to plow through, and not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Now that you've discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab more as well. I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? Don't don't hit me, I'm leaving. Doctor Who? Oh, Warren, I... <laughs> I like the puns. Um, yeah, I... I think Max, she's she's going too hardcore into this. She's not going to find any answers in films. This is so insane. It sounds logical to me. Oh, God. Join the chrononauts. Time travel is not just a science fiction. History has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all rules of the space, excuse me, of the time-space continuum. The present dilemma is that those who can navigate temporal dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves due to the impact of public and government scrutiny. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build, in top secret, their own version of a time machine. 
Thankfully, this is not a case where infinite revenue equals control of the infinite, or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chrononauts enter the picture. It's clear based on the vast scientific information that time travel is only applicable on a person-by-person -person basis, not driven nor dominated by any one particular physics or thermodynamic calibration. For this reason, we have created a forum where past, present and future time travellers can share tips, ideas and experiences to guide those navigating the rocky seas of time. Hence our moniker, the Chrononauts. Brave, solitary adventurers on an infinite voyage. Register within the forum and step into a river of time without fear of being swept away. Now, this is just some conspiracy theory bullshit. This, no. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Maybe you're looking in the wrong place then. Maybe science doesn't have the answer, but maybe a more... How do I put it? Maybe, maybe this is more of an emotional thing rather than a scientific thing. Welcome to the wonderful world of the wormhole, a term lazily overexploited in science and science fiction. For neophytes, visualize a wormhole like an invisible tunnel from one end of space to another. Thus, if wormholes exist, time travel is possible and probable. The human trick is to discover the means or device needed to link and traverse both ends of this time tunnel. Einstein's theory of relativity posits that this is within the realm of theory, while a new generation of physicists hope to develop an actual working model of this fascinating space-time conundrum. Inside Wormhole are links and articles relating to the most recent developments of this fluid discovery, or fluid theory rather. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? This, from the title alone, is like, this is bullshit. Max, you are going into crazy territory here. As you read these words, physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer-funded government programs to shatter our notion of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. You have to read it dramatic. You have to. For example, Australian researchers are using photons to simulate quantum particles as they travel through time itself. Even though quantum time mechanics is a very recent theory, first predicted in 1991, it has caught fire within the scientific community, who eliminated ethics and morality from their dangerous experiments. This is bullshit. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Okay. A ghoul day's Halloween party. Okay, cool. Bring it, Blackwell Bloodsuckers. Next to prom night and big football, my favourite time of year is the annual Ghoul Days Hallo- Oh God. Ghoul Days Black Halloween Party. Why did you have to spell it in such an awkward way, Dana? Picture me busting a thriller zombie move. Principal Wells has given us almost carte blanche to decorate the halls and gym within taste and safety, so I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk to their classes. I know you'll have tons of homework, as I do, but let's make this a Halloween that Blackwell will never forget. Uh... Oh, I'm sure it'll be a Halloween that Blackwell never forgets, but not in the way that you think, girl. <laughs> not when there's a fucking time traveller in your midst. The decoration committee meets in the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, October 10th. This gives you plenty of time to not have any excuses for flaking. And if you don't show up to help haunt the halls, the boogeymen will get you. Let's show Blackwell our ghoul power. Pleasant screams, Dana of the Dead. Nice. Very cool. Uh, sticky notes. I can't keep my eyes open. But I know there's a scientific answer. Again. Again. I'm, I don't think this is a scientific explanation. I Personally, I feel like people are granted powers when they go through trauma. Max saw her best friend get shot. She didn't know it was her best friend at the, at the time, but it was. And I think the universe kind of reached out to her and said, hey, 
you're going to go through some traumatic shit. So we're going to give you the means to correct that. However, you have to deal with the consequences of your actions. If you're up for that, then go right on ahead. But otherwise, maybe don't use the powers. I think that's what the dreams are. It's the universe saying, hey, are you still up for this? Are you are you still prepared? Like, it's getting to Friday. Like, how are you feeling, Max? I know in oh, Life is Strange 2, um, I can't even remember the kid's name. The little boy, he gets his powers after witnessing the shooting of his dad. And obviously we don't play as him in Life is Strange 2. We play as the older brother. So I I think the little one probably also had some sort of vision. But again, I don't know. And I have no idea what is going on in Life is Strange 3. So that, I, I don't know if that theory continues or if it's something completely different. I don't know. But that's the main connection I can see is that the protagonists have all dealt with something traumatic and it's almost like the universe is kind of offering a gift like oh you've had to go go through something incredibly painful have these powers we're really sorry so i i don't think this is a scientific thing i think it's emotion based i think it's almost psychological okay what if i'm one of hawking's fabled time tourists even though he once made fun of time travellers, he believes it's now possible, or he's still fucking with us. He's a genius imp. A bullshit, I'm drowning in time. Uh, pictures. Time is like a river, Einstein. My head hurts after longer rewind and thinking about this now. Uh, giant, giant frog. Okay. Uh, Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hello, time kitty. Uh, take a giant step backward for mankind. Quantum entanglement. Energy disperses as particles reach equal distribution. This means that time has a fragile foundation. Nothing is written in stone. The law of thermodynamics can obviously be broken. So no rules, only guidelines. Burn your clock. Okay. Uh, time is like an arrow. Newton. No fucking way. And what about the tornado? Uh, or is it like two arrows at the same velocity hitting two targets independent of each other, leading to two different results? What the hell am I writing? Max, what the hell are you writing? You are... She, she is diving into this. She's like just immersing herself in this. And it... Ugh. Uh, this is pure bullshit. I think that says at the bottom there. Uh, rewind only limited by time itself. Right now, I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Irony or evolution? Maybe I have to do time exercises now. Uh, I don't... I don't think this is something you should be fucking about with, but... You are. You're gonna keep fucking about with it. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. I presume this is all going to say the same stuff, but I'm just going to double check. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Okay, yeah, that's, that's the same as it was before. It would be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Ooh, Mystic Enchantment cards. Okay, cool. Uh, the art books. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. And yeah, we won't play any music. Okay, yep, there we go, good to go. Courtney, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Correct me if I'm wrong. That wasn't Victoria's voice actress. That sounded like Juliet. That was a bit... Maybe, maybe Victoria's voice actress couldn't, didn't do that line and so they just needed someone to do it. I don't know. Okay, yeah, there's that. Um... 
Has someone fucked with this? And I swear that that slate wasn't as wasn't as blotchy last time around. God, yeah, the missing persons posters. Rachel looks like she's staring at me. Maybe she is, Max. Maybe she is. Brooke's room. Um, do we have any reason to knock? I mean, fuck it, I will, but. No Brooke here. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's the uh, the image for save the planet and boobs. Nice. Um, I, I'm I'm being offered it, so I'm like I should for all the extra dialogue, but like. Fine, I won't disturb you. Kate's right. No, no, fuck you. We'll bang for God. No. The marks of Satan. Fucking get rid of them. Fuck you. Like, draw, draw the peace sign back on there. How dare? Who is doing this? This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Uh, I believe, yeah, this is the same as before. Same as before. Yep. Again, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to miss out on anything. Kate, are you... Ow. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Okay. Oh, if she's an early bird, then she'll have seen the slate. God damn. They live. Uh, hey, Alyssa. If I help Alyssa, I could be like the godmother of Blackwell. Also, uh, excuse me, young man. What are you doing in here? This is the girls' dorms. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. Okay. Okay. So someone's done something to her. Oh, the toilet paper's been cleaned up. One quick rewind, and I could stop this TP attack. But you won't. Yeah, there's that picture. That's Trevor. Gross. Girl, Gross. good for you. Kate. I'm glad I pissed them off. What's that I mean? didn't think Kate was Whatever like they're this. watching must be hot on stuff. Bros. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. Then f everybody's seen it by now. I don't care. Fucking turn it off. There's Brooke looking smarter than everybody. Smack a phone out of her hand. Like <laughs> I don't care that that's assault. Like, what the? I don't know if you caught that, but she said, I, I, I find it hard to imagine that Kate's like this. So they're... If you remember in the first episode, um, Blondie, I can't remember her name. I think, I think it could be Taylor, actually. Taylor threw a ball of paper at Kate and it said, uh, we loved your porn video. Fucking stop. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Um, yeah, you, you look distracted. Tell me about what you're watching and stop it. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Uh, we, we will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's not fucking cool, girl. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. As you should. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Um. Ooh. What about Zachary? What are you going to do about him? What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. You bitch! 
I, I, oh, oh, that pisses me off. You have Kate who is, she's running this abstinence campaign and you might argue like, oh, she could be doing that to like disguise the fact from her parents. But the fact that she's so distressed. In Max's journal, it said that she had been really depressed these past few weeks, presumably because of this video. Like, so clearly, like, this wasn't something that she intended to do. It's not like she made a porno and it got out. This was clearly something that she wasn't aware of and it got spread around the school. And I just... You bitch! Just standing there in the co in the corridor being like, Oh, check out this hot video. Like, there's a girl suffering. Do you not give a shit about that? Oh, you give a shit when Zachary's apparently sexting Dana, but when some girl's struggling with mental illness, oh no, fuck it. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Fuck you, Juliet. You have officially ended up on my shit list. Oh, sorry. Clearly not a morning person. Sorry, Stella. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. And yep, stomping Bigfoot's. Hey, Dana. Get it, girl. Excuse. Oh, this is both sad and pathetic. Oh, but I. I don't know what I looked at. Um, yeah, this is the note that Logan sent her. It's been thrown in the trash, apparently. Uh, Dana, do you, do you want to do that, maybe? Uh, capable, okay. I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Yo, it's because she got some. Hi, Dana. How are you? Much better than yesterday. I'm glad we talked. Yeah, me too. Me too. I know it's good to just talk about this stuff. You're almost psychic. I felt like you knew everything anyway. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? I, I said this before, I think Max wants to be popular. She's a little awkward, she's a little shy, she's not the most socially adept. But, like, a cheerleader is inviting her to this party. So, like, I think she's intimidated, but, like, why the hell not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Dana does seem nice. I like Dana. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Damn. Hmm. Yep, yeah, uh, that was uh, contraceptive pills. Okay, good stuff. Be safe. Curiosity killed the Max. Do it. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh, don't say that out loud, dork. Yep, she's, she's put on Facebook that she's uh, no longer single. Good for you. It would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Yes, we read this. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Ooh, gothic burlesque. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah, Dana, Dana is really getting into the whole uh, Halloween spirit. And rollerblades, oh. Rollerblades. Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Uh, I feel ya. I tried ice skating once, and uh, it was not pretty. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. And you know what? I, I am just about out of time. 
for this episode. So I'm going to end off right here. In the next one, we finish up looking around Dana's room and then we will go and have a shower in the bathroom. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.